Good morning and welcome to Grace Church Cathedral. This is morning prayer for Wednesday, April 27th. Morning prayer begins on page 80. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ has entered not into a sanctuary made with hands, a copy of the true one, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the, to Father, the Father, and to the, the Son, Son, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Canticle <coughs> on page 83. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the, fr the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. <clears throat> the psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 119, verses 1 through 24. Psalm 119 can be found on page 763. Happy are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are they who observe his decrees and seek him with all their hearts. Who never do any wrong, but always walk in his ways. You lay down your commandments that we should keep, f fully keep them. Oh, that my ways were made so direct, that I might keep your statutes. Then I should not be put to shame when I regard all your commandments. I will thank you with an unfeigned heart when I have learned your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. How shall a young man cleanse his way? By keeping to your words. With my whole heart I seek you. Let not me stray from your commandments. I treasure your promise in my heart, that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Instruct me in your statutes. With my lips will I recite all the judgments of your mouth. I have taken greater delight in the way of your decrees than in all manners of riches. I will meditate on your commandments and give attention to your ways. My delight is in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see the wonders of your law. I am a stranger here on earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is consumed at all times with longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the insolent. Cursed are they who stray from your commandments. Turn from my shame and rebuke for I have kept your decrees. Even though rulers sit and plot against me, I will meditate on your statutes. For your decrees are my delight, and they are my counselors. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the, to the Son, Son, and to, to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may be bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the world, which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, Unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, 
you can do nothing. If man does not abide in me, he is cast forth as a branch and, and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me, my words abide in you. Ask whatever you will, and it shall be done for you. But this, my Father, is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will use Canticle 8 on page 85. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a minor, mighty warder. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless death has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared to you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and a worker of wonders? You stretched forth your hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. You might your might brought them to safety, to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to, to the, the Son, and to the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Together on page 96, I believe in God, God the, Father the Father, the Almighty, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was Son, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the him. dead. On the third day He rose again. again. He ascended into heaven. heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery has established the new covenant of reconciliation, Grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we pray for your church, that together with the whole of creation we may rejoice in the resurrection of Christ. 
O Lord Jesus Christ, through your rising again, hope has been renewed. Joy has been restored and life has been recreated for the whole world. Give us grace in this season of celebration to rise to you in our hearts, that with prayer and song we may re-echo that hymn of joy which your Easter began. O Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray for peace in our world, that laying aside the violence of our hearts, we may work together for a world in which all people can flourish. O God of love, in whom we are all united, bring together in your peace all the nations of this world. Keep us from the temptations of blame and aggression to which our human struggle so often leads, and help us instead to pursue the ways of gentleness, diplomacy, and understanding. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. This time I invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear prayer. our prayer. Together on page 101, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.